court to the gridiron year in and year out. Mike Tomlin and the Steelers have been able to remain a winning team, but they have yet to find a consistent starter at quarterback or postseason success since Big Ben Roethlisberger. Now Pittsburgh switching it up, overhauling their quarterback room by bringing in former MVP Russell Wilson on a one-year deal and training for quarterback Justin Fields, someone who Tomlin is very high on. Take a listen. He loses talent and potential. Um, he's worn the responsibility of being a franchise quarterback, but, but still he gets an opportunity to come into a community-like situation and learn from a guy that's been doing it for over a decade. Um, man, there's a lot of meat left on that bone, man. I'm just excited about working to be a part of uh, uh, extracting it. Kimberly A. Martin is in the building. Good to hey, see hey, you, hey. girl. Thank you so much for being with us. Of course, Mad Dog and Ryan Clark, R.C., you won a Super Bowl with this squad, so you do the honor, sir. Uh, do you think there is going to be a quarterback? Like, I want to know what it is going to be like, a quarterback controversy between Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. I mean, um, I think, and Kimberly said this a lot, so I don't want to steal her thought. The, the word controversy is sort of making it seem like there's going to be a negative connotation around it. I think this is going to eventually be a quarterback competition. There's going to be a decision that has to be made by Mike Tomlin that has Justin Fields shown us enough to not only be the quarterback of the right now, but the quarterback of the future. And that's difficult to learn from OTAs until the end of training camp or the end of preseason. But when I hear that Russell Wilson is the starter or Russell Wilson is in pole position, that means that the decision is not final. And I think Coach Tomlin recognizes the upside to having Justin Fields. He knows the talent that Justin Fields is. He's still younger than Russell Wilson was. And maybe Russell Wilson was once some of these things that Justin Fields is now, but he no longer is those things. And you understand if you give Justin Fields, in my opinion, an opportunity to win this quarterback competition outright, I believe he does. I believe his floor is as high as Russell Wilson's floor will be, but his ceiling is way above where Russell is right now. And if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, you should want Justin Fields to win this job. Yeah, I can understand that. I, I do think that Wilson is going to start week one. I don't think there's anything in yeah. training camp. I think he's going to start week one. Now, he is not good enough. And with Fields there, who is pretty good, I think there will be a situation in the course of the year where, Field, where Wilson will be a little spotty. And Tomlin, you know, he got Pickett out of there. He didn't start him late yeah. in the year. I could see him going to Fields. They got to find out if he's any good anyway. He's going to have to pay him down the road. So I think Fields will get an opportunity this year. But I do think Wilson will start the season. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's good enough to be out there and say, geez, you gotta, he's so great, you got to leave him in. He hasn't been good for three years on that level that he was. Mm -hmm. So as a result, I think Fields will get a chance down the road. The future, when I think of what the Steelers could be with Justin Fields, there is an unknown there. There is upside. We hear Mike Tomlin talking about, oh, there's a lot of meat on that bone. It's because we have yet to see Justin in a situation where he's in – Entrenched in an in a organization that, for the most part, very stable and has committed to him and says, we can win with this guy. And I think the unknown with Justin, the ceiling is the roof. As we talked about on Get Up, Michael Jordan, the ceiling is the roof with Justin Fields and Mike Tomlin and Arthur Smith. But I don't think it'll be a controversy. I the think other, what you the, want is, is a competition, which is what you will have. The other thing is this. The Steelers are operating in the most unlike Steeler way I've ever seen. Love it. Right? Love Omar it. Khan is not on that, hey, we got to just build through the draft or we got to wait till these guys develop. Omar Khan is like, hey, Kenny Pickett ain't work out. Right? Coach Tomlin said, even though Kenny Pickett is healthy, that doesn't just guarantee you the quarterback job headed into the playoff when our third quarterback, Mason Rudolph, is playing out of his mind. We're going to go with that. The, the loyalties, I think, that Coach Tomlin has shown to some people, like a Matt Canada, like a Kenny Pickett, I think those things are over. What he did with Ben Roethlisberger, kind of riding him out toward the end of his career in hopes of winning a championship, all of that stuff is done. They are trying to win right now. They are trying to exceed the expectation of what you may think their roster can bring in the AFC North. 
The problem is Russell Wilson isn't going to change that. I don't think he moves that needle. Does he give them better play than they had last year? Absolutely. Can he be more than stable at the quarterback position? Yes, we saw him do that last year. But can he do some of the things that you think Justin Fields can do? And so it's about getting comfortable enough with Justin Fields to say, go play, go be you, go show us why you were drafted 11th overall, go show us those things that took you from Georgia to Ohio State and made you a first-round pick. And I think that sort of comfort, that sort of openness, that sort of environment is just the thing to get the best out of Justin. And this quarterback competition can be the same because we saw what happened when he left Georgia from being behind Jake Fromm and became the guy at Ohio State. Yeah, I think in a little bit, Pittsburgh's like an NBA team that is not good enough to win a championship, but is not bad enough to get a number one pick. You know, okay. Pittsburgh. That's been, that's yeah. been the Steelers for a while. And that's purgatory. <laughs> and that is purgatory. Yeah. That is the worst place you want to be where that's you go. That's how they ended up with Kenny Pickett. Yeah. And they, they go 9 and 8 and 10 and 7 every year, which puts them in the periphery of making the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And maybe they yep. sneak in as a seventh seed, but they don't have the quarterback to get them to the next level where they compete and maybe try to win a championship. And the AFC North yeah. is loaded. That's another problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I, I don't think Wilson is the answer to that. I don't think Fields is the answer to that either, but I do agree with Ryan. You're not 100% sure. I don't think Russell Wilson is good enough to beat out the Mahomeses, the Allens, the Aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. so I, a Burrow. So I think Pittsburgh is kind of in a very tricky spot. They've improved the quarterback room, but are they a big-time team? No. no. They're a 9, 8, 10, 7 team. We also don't really know what Justin Fields is. No, we don't. And I think the thing with Pittsburgh is they are always competitive in that division. Uh, Mike yeah. Tomlin is a man who gets a lot from a little. So when you think about the quarterback play, it's improved from last year. To your point, can they compete with the bigger dogs? We're about to find out. But you got to go through this season to see what you have. Justin Fields, if you can unlock this, his potential, his ceiling, I think they could have something special. But think about this team last year. This, the reason I say it's not a, co a controversy is this locker room will determine who they want throwing them the football. I don't think it'll be a controversy because what we saw last year was guys said, hey, Mason Rudolph, that's the one we want. It's not Kenny Pickett. We want this offense to flourish. And now you got two quarterbacks who are better than what you had last year. Yeah, quarterback room's improved. Quarterback room's improved. RC, final word to you. Yeah, the quarterback room has improved, but I think the competition is a good thing. I think having these two dudes who are both playing for their careers. Russell Wilson is playing to extend his career as a starter. Justin Fields is trying to get to that all-important second contract. They didn't bring in people that were self-made or people that were ready to walk off into the sunset and no longer be starting quarterbacks in this league. They brought in two dudes that are absolutely fighting, scratching, and clawing to be something, which is exactly where this team is. And if you can't ever get a number one pick, which I think Mad Dog illustrated perfectly, if you're never going to be in that position, your best hope is that a dude that has that sort of talent, Justin Fields, actually sees that come to fruition, right? And that potential turn into production inside of your building. And so to get him for a six-round draft pick, I'm rooting for him if I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan because this could change your organization for the next decade.